Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems and today we're having an awesome stream. We're going to show you folks how to use your DMR radio uh, on the road with local repeaters uh, and multiple repeaters using it with DMR. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so we have our radio here and today we're going to base this on the idea that uh, you have your radio um, and you're going traveling and you want to use local repeaters. Uh, maybe you're going in an area where you're, you don't have a SkyBridge or you can't take your SkyBridge with you or maybe you don't have internet in certain areas. Uh, this is going to be focused on local repeaters uh, with your radio. So if you're traveling, we're going to have to use multiple repeaters. And one of the questions that we get all the time is, well, how do I do that without you know, importing 800 different talk groups and channels for each repeater? Uh, so we're going to cover that today, the easiest and probably best way to go about that. Uh, if you just have a few repeaters, it might be a different solution. But in this case, if we're going to import a lot, uh, we're going to go about it a different way. So we have our radio. Uh, first thing we're going to do is turn on that radio. And we'll plug the cable uh, in the computer and then into the radio here. There we go. Now let's hop into the computer and take a look at the CPS. Okay, so we have our, our programming software pulled up here. First thing we're going to do is select the COM port. There we go. And if your radio is turned on and plugged in, you will see it. Uh, if you have trouble with your radio not showing up, uh, sometimes we've heard stories of people having better luck in this order. Make sure your radio is on, then plug the cable in your computer, and then into the turned on radio. Uh, it should have good success that way. Also make sure you only have one uh, instance of the CPS running on your computer. Uh, we have had times where people have three or four and it doesn't like that. So uh, just make sure you only have one of them running. There we go. Select your COM port and we're going to click that button to the left that says read from radio. And let's see, don't worry about our changes. We're just going to read the other data. There we go. That'll import everything into our software. Now, I already have the UltraCode plug installed on this radio, so we're going to be working from that today. So if you already have a plug-and-play package or your radio set up with a SkyBridge and the UltraCode plug, or any code plug for that matter, as long as you have that talk group list, uh, we're going to base it off of that, and we'll use that with our local repeaters. Awesome. Here we go. So we can see all of those channels in there. Now, at this point, what we need to do is find out the information for those repeaters that are along our trip. So let's go over to a web browser, open up a web browser, and we're going to go to repeaterbook.com. Now they also make an app, uh, so if you want to download the app and use it based on your location on your cell phone, that way if you're out and about, you can actually pull in the repeaters close to you. Uh, a lot of guys have had good luck with that, so definitely check that out. Um, let's see, so we're going to go to North American Repeaters. And at this point, just select your location. We're in Missouri. Now, obviously, if you're going to be traveling, uh, you'll want to you know, find repeaters along your path where you're headed to. So today, we're just going to add this one repeater, um, but the same process is going to apply with multiple repeaters. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's see, you can filter. We're looking for DMR. There we go. Awesome, and I know what I'm looking for here, so I'm just gonna do a control F. Uh, let's see, I think it's KCI. There we go, this one. Uh, this one we should be able to hit from here, not always in the studio, but hopefully we'll be able to today. Uh, so I can click on this. Just click on the frequency there to the left, it'll open it up. And at this point, it will give you all of the information you need to know about it. So I know this is the one we want to uh, connect to today because it's what is in reach of us here. Um, so write down your downlink and uplink frequency. Uh, and then write down your color code and then your uh, time slot. So it says time slot one for all other Brandmeister talk groups. Sometimes I give you that information in here. So if you open talk group view, it'll give you some more information there. There we go. So we have that written down here. We should be ready to go. Now, if I back out here a second, 
I want to show you another way you can find these. So if we scroll up to the top on our list of repeaters once we've selected our location, what you can do is click Map Results up here on the menu bar, and then Map Results again, or whatever it, options it gives you. And at this point, you'll actually be able to see all of the repeaters in your area, or whatever area you've selected. That means you can actually choose repeaters along the way. So if you're planning a trip, you can actually just go and find those repeaters beforehand. It doesn't really take that long. Program them in your radio. That way, along your trip, you'll actually be able to talk to those repeaters. Awesome. So we have our repeater now. We have that information. Now at this point, just like anything else, we want to add those repeaters to our, our CPS, our, our software. So just go through the channel setting here and scroll down until you have a blank space. We're going to add it there. Now if you don't already have any sort of code plug or files in your radio, uh, you will want to either download the Ultra Code Plug or uh, just manually add your talk groups, digital contact list, everything like that. We have some videos that go over that, uh, some previous videos. So today we're using the Ultra Code Plug. So I'm going to find a blank space here. Here we go. So let's the KCI repeater. Perfect. And the receive and transmit. So we wrote down uplink and downlink. So now we have to translate them to receive and transmit. Uh, if you're new to it, I'll give you a good explanation here real quick. So uplink, the way I like to think about it is your repeater's always up high and your radio typically is on the ground. You're a person on the ground um, and the repeater's typically on the tower. So if you think of the radio being low and the repeater being high, it's always easy to figure out. So in this case, we're putting information in the radio. So uplink frequency is going to be the transmit frequency of the radio because we're going up to that repeater. So the transmit is going to be our uplink, which is 4494625. And then the receive is going to be the downlink. Since we're receiving on the radio, it's going down to the radio. So that is 4444625. Perfect, just like that. Uh, in this case, obviously digital. We're going to crank that up to turbo so we have the best chance of hitting it. Generally, local repeaters, if you're on the road trip, definitely want that on turbo uh, that, if you're going to be concerned about range. Um, there we go. Make sure your DMR mode is set to repeater down here. This DMR mode, definitely want that to repeater, otherwise you'll have trouble. And I think we're pretty much all set here. Um, now for the contact. Uh, you can select the contact here. Now we're going to be changing this later uh, when you're actually on the road. If you want to select a primary one, this is a good time, as good a time as ever to do that. This is what's automatically going to populate on that, on that repeater. Um, so if we select, we could select the parrot here real quick. Uh, or actually, I'm going to select a different one. Let's see if we can find... Let's see what we can find here, if we can find the Missouri Talk Group. Sometimes they can be a little hard to find if you have a lot of them. Let's see, Missouri is 3129. See if we can find that here. Okay. A lot of talk groups. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and select this Colorado one. I uh, don't want to don't search forever, but obviously you can find the one you want. Uh, there we go. So we have a, a primary talk group that's going to show up. Now at this point, you can just simply hit OK. And now you would go ahead and add the other repeaters that are along your trip. Uh, now today we're not adding any extras, but uh, this is where you would add them. So you'll add all of your repeaters uh, that you want here. Uh, so if I wanted to add a different one along a road trip, or even just for your local area, this works too, you're going to add them here. Now once you have that done, what you'll want to do is go over to Zones and create yourself a new zone. Uh, now if you're just adding local repeaters, you could do that, or uh, you could, if you're going on a trip, you could name that zone, you know, whatever the name of your trip is. Uh, so Trip Zone March. There we go. So I, I have a I have a name of my zone now, and at this point you'll add the channels that we just created. So if I scroll down here, uh, those repeaters on that trip, so we added this one. 
we're going to add them over into our zone. Just click OK, just like that. And now that zone is going to include all of the repeaters, in this case just one, uh, that we're going to be talking to on that trip. So awesome. There we go. Now if we go uh, back over here, at this point you should be able to write to the radio. Now if, the, if you're doing everything from scratch and you don't have the ultra code plug, there is another thing you'll want to do under optional settings. You'll want to go in here and go to work mode and then change the display mode from channel to frequency. Otherwise you won't be able to see anything. Keep that in mind. And then regardless of what code plug you have, you'll also want to go to digital function and uh, increase your, your call hold time potentially. Now what this is going to do, uh, we'll show you here in a second, when you're actually selecting your talk group uh, on the radio, um, the call hold time will determine how long you're going to be able to have that selected before it resets back to the default one. Uh, so you may want to change them. I'm going to leave mine alone for this, but uh, definitely keep that in mind that those uh, will change. So I'm actually, let's set these to about 10 seconds. Uh, there we go, just so we have a little bit more time to play with. Uh, but you can set that to whatever you would like. Now at this point, just go up here, make sure you can still, still see the COM port, which you can, that shouldn't have changed. And then click the button to the right of it that says write to radio. And go ahead and write to radio. Now, I already have the digital contact list on here, so I'm just going to write other data. There we have it. So really what we're harnessing here out of that ultra code plug is that big old talk group list. Um, now this code plug is still going to work great with my Skybridge. So when I'm in, excuse me, when I'm in range of the Skybridge, this will work awesome. But when I'm out talking to local repeaters or repeaters along a trip, if you don't want to bring your Skybridge. Now keep in mind, you can actually bring this and use it along your trip too. A lot of folks do that. Excuse me, it's probably the easiest way to go about it. But if you don't want to or you can't for some reason, uh, this is definitely another option for you. So there we go. We have the information over in the radio, just like that. Now let's take a look at it. So on the radio, here we can see my Skybridge uh, Parrot. So if I go through my zones, let's try going up. There we go. I can go. If if you enter the last zone, uh, just go ahead and click the up button, and you'll go right back around to it. Uh, so we have our trip zone for March and we have that repeater we added. Awesome, how cool is that? Now here's the fun part. So currently, if I keyed this up, uh, we would enter the Colorado uh, talk group, right? But let's say I, I'm going through, uh, I, I wanna talk to a different talk group. Maybe I wanna test it out, talk to the parrot. Now, what you can do to do that is you'll actually hold down zero, just like that, and it's going to give you an option to actually type in your talk group. Um, now you will want to know your talk groups. If you don't know them, there's another way to do it, but for those of us who, who do have some of them memorized or written down, uh, what I actually tend to do is just write down a list of them, or you could even print out a list. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But at this point, you'll type in your number. So if I wanted to talk to the parrot, it's 9990. And at this point, you'll simply key it up, which we'll try here. Now, I also want to let you know, if you want to talk to a, a talk group with other people on it, make sure you hit this pound button. That'll change it from a private ID to a talk group ID. So pretty much all talk groups, you want to make sure you hit that pound button so it changes it over. Now, in this case, we're talking to the parrot, so we actually want it to be private, but generally you want to change that over to public. So just the pound button will take care of that for you. And at this point, you just simply key up. So let's see if we can hit the parrot. I'm going to stand over here a little bit. Testing, one, two, three. This is W3AMG. Oh. Looks like we got a repeater not found message. Let's see here. Maybe we messed something up. Testing, one, two, three. This is, nope. Repeater not found. Well, let's take a look here. See what we did. Go back into our channel. Okay, awesome. So we have our frequency receive 444-4625. That looks good. Digital turbo looks good. 
Oh, looks like we did not select our time slot and color code. See, got to remember to do that. So real easy to forget those things. So color code is four and time slot in this case uh, was time slot one for all of those other Brandmeister talk groups. Awesome. There we go. So if something doesn't work, just go double check everything. Uh, super easy to forget a step and you'll run into problems. So best thing to do is if, if something doesn't work, just go double check everything and you'll get it working. So we change that. Now it's just a matter of writing this to the radio again. There we go. Just click that write to radio button and we'll be all set now. Now while that's doing uh, writing, let me show you something real quick. Um, so we'll just do a Google search here for PyStar talk groups. Here we go. This is the list I typically reference, uh, pystar.uk. They have all of the talk groups here. There's probably a few places you can get this. And uh, this is a great place to find a talk group because it's a big old list. You can just do a control F and find it. So if I do control F and Missouri, there you go, Missouri talk group, there's the number. So uh, what I actually tend to do is just write down a few of my favorites. That way when I'm on the road, I can just reference my list, punch in the number, and go straight to that talk group. Uh, or if you wanted to, you could even print out the entire list. Uh, so that's probably the best way to find those talk groups. Obviously when you're on your SkyBridge, it's convenient to be able to just scroll through all the talk groups. But if you have a lot of repeaters in there, that will be a lot of channels uh, to make, you know, 800 channels per repeater. So this is definitely the better way to do it in that case. There we go. So let's unplug the radio here. Awesome. So we'll go back to that channel, go up to our zone. There's that KCI repeater. Uh, now, once again, we're going to select a different ID here. So private call, group call. So we'll do private 9990 and then key this up. This is Cody W3AMG testing, oh, repeater not found. Well, let's see, you don't know what's going on here. Write data complete. What are we missing? We have our call sign, color code four, time slot one, digital turbo. We have our talk group, that should be fine. Okay, repeater. Everything is looking fine here. Let's see what's going on. So it is set to digital, yep. Remember folks, sometimes you run into hiccups. It may be something going on with that repeater. Uh, it is possible we are in the studio here, so it can be difficult to actually reach out to it. Uh, that is most likely what's going on here. We're just not able to hit it, although sometimes we can if we get close to the window. Uh, but that is basically how it will work. Now, here's the cool part. If you have different channels here, uh, you can just basically have one channel for each repeater. So you have one for each repeater. Um, and then if you want to change the talk group, the primary talk group on it, um, what you'll actually do is go to list. So this list button right here. Then you can go to your, your basically your talk group list. So you can scroll down here and select any of those talk groups. Let's say I found one here, uh, this France talk group. I could select that and then just click on select contact. And there you have it. Now that is going to be your primary contact for this uh, repeater. So if you want to change your primary contact, it's super simple. Just go to your list and scroll down until you find the one you'd like. Um, now obviously there's a lot there, so this can be time consuming if you want to find like, you know, the 800th talk group. Uh, so that's why I like the ability to just punch it in. Now when you punch in that talk group, it only saves it for as long as your call time, your call hold time. Uh, so if you just wait for, you, let's say you had it set to 20 seconds, if you wait for more than 20 seconds, it's going to go back to your default. But if you're on the road and just want to punch that in, and start talking to someone, it's a great method. But if you do want to go ahead and save that as your primary talk group, you can do it this way as well. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it. To make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG, 73.